Thank you for joining us on this Monday for the Word of Encouragement. One of the things that Satan likes to get us to do is to think that God doesn't really care or that he doesn't listen to us. And one of the great joys of reading what the Bible says about that is that the opposite is, is true. Clearly, the Lord loves us. He proved that by coming to the cross. And the Bible is just abundant with passages about the fact that he does hear our cry. One of those is Psalm 77, uh, verse 1. I cried unto God with my voice, even unto God with my voice, and he gave ear unto me. Just that simple thought that the God of the universe, the one who created everything, who has all power, who keeps every atom in order. In fact, science tells us if God did not hold together the universe, it would explode. There's no reason why the universe is holding together as it is. It's because that Christ himself, as Colossians chapter 1 says, holds all things by his power. And so this God who has all power, uh, who can do anything, is willing to give ear to our cry. He knows your heart. He understands what you're going through. He realizes your weakness. We all have times in which there's nowhere to turn. There's nothing we can do in and of ourselves. We are very acutely aware of impossibilities in our lives. And when we cry unto the Lord, he gives ear. And we know from 1 John chapter 5 that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, we know we have the petitions we desired of him. And that means that anything according to the will of God is revealed in the word of God, that which is right for us to ask. He does hear us. He gives ear unto us. And unto, unto the, uh, him, the psalmist says, I, I give my cry. And so I do want to encourage you here today at the beginning of this week to remember that no matter whatever you're facing and what situations may be a bit overwhelming, God does care and he's willing to listen to you. There are a lot of things that can be disturbing right now. It's been that way for these few years that we've done this little, uh, this little time to, together. And yet through all this time, God keeps meeting our needs. God keeps working. And if you've been praying, he's been hearing you. So today, the Bible says, if you cry unto him with your voice, he'll hear you. He's hearing your thoughts even right now while you're listening to this. And so I encourage you to be just lifted up by the fact that you've got the ear of Almighty God. And if you will trust him and live according to his word and bring your burdens to him, he will meet your need. He will answer your prayers and do abundantly above all that you can ask or think.